I like to think about it in, in terms of three time frameworks and layer those frameworks together to create the sort of com combined crisis that we experienced in 2007, 2008, which was the sort of the single event time when food prices shot up. But, but I think if you look at um, agriculture over the long term, um, we can see that um, over the course of 150, 200 years, agriculture has been progressively simplified and industrialized and become more and more mono, monocultural and more dependent on fossil fuels. And so now we're in a situation in the 21st century where during the 20th century, the second half of the 20th century, um, incredible amounts of fertilizer were added to the soil in order to improve and expand um, crop production. And of course, um, fertilizer, fossil fuel based fertilizer ultimately leads to declining soil fertility and upsets water cycles and, and um, so, so soil begins to de degrade and, and we've found that, um, that this has been a, a serious process that has um, undermined the long term sustainability of industrial agriculture. So I would argue that over the long term we've seen this movement towards peak soil um, and then peak oil being the increasing um, scarcity of oil or at least as expressed in its rising price and so so that's one source of the food price crisis in 2007-2008. Um, a second part of that crisis is the um, the conjunctural effect of neoliberalism which um, organized agriculture on a global scale under the auspices of the WTO um, liberalization so that um, third world countries could not protect their farm sectors and were open to cheap imports of grains from Europe and the United States which undermined small farmers who couldn't compete against those artificially cheapened prices. Um, so those small farmers were um, essentially on their heels when the food price crisis came along. They were not able to respond and produce more food um, and um, so countries realized that uh, that their agrarian base had been become more and more food dependent, more dependent on imports from the big players like the United States and, and the Europeans. And so um, small farmers were in a, in a tight spot and fertilizers went up something like 300% over that period, the price of fertilizers. And so they weren't able to respond either. So, so the food price crisis also exposed um, an underlying agrarian crisis that had been brewing um, during the neoliberal conjuncture. And then, of course, the event of rising food price crisis, the spike in food price crisis, led to food riots. And many of the people who were rioting were people who had been pushed off the land already and were uh, poor, informal workers um, in urban centres or around the fringes of cities who just could not afford basic foods anymore. And so governments all of a sudden found themselves faced with unruly populations. Um, and so it's in that kind of vortex that um, the land grab becomes much more intensified and governments and financiers begin to invest in agriculture offshore in order to guarantee food supplies for their populations in the future. And of course this feeds on itself and um, increases the price, speculative price of land and, and food futures.